Um, as always, uh, we have a uh, short film in front of the feature. It is called From Out. Unfortunately, the director could not be here, uh, but he sent me an email with a little message, and I'm going to read it pretty much verbatim to you. Uh, he just wants to thank you all for coming out and enduring his movie. Um, he hopes you like it, but um, if you don't, that's okay. I really understand. <laughs> It's his first film, he's super excited to uh, be screening here, and if you have any questions, you can find him on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, no applaud for him. You know he's not here. Okay, and uh, we're going to do a very quick intro so we can start the movie. Uh, we have some of the cast and crew of Shut In here, and they're going to do a quick intro. Please come up to the stage. Martin Starr. Yeah. Woo! Producer co-editor Brian Netto. Executive producers Matthew Lamont and Colleen Galopoulos. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, this is unlike anything I've done before, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, this isn't a comedy. So. Adam, Brian, just kidding. Um, do you want to? Do you want to say anything? He said it beautifully. Let's just start the show. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for having us out this year. Thanks, guys. Uh, they will be back for the Q&A after the movie. <laughs> Please welcome back to the stage the team behind this frightening film. Exec producer and co-editor Brian Meadow. <laughs> Exact producers Matthew Lamont and Tommy Blockless and vicious son of a bitch Martin Starr. <laughs> One's still in the basement, it's fine. He's still locked in the basement. <laughs> He's up there. Where's Tommy? Tommy! Tommy Lopolis, come down and push. <laughs> come on, Tommy. Okay. Never mind. Here he comes. There he is. Let's give him a round of applause, guys. Brian, you want to tell us a little bit about how this project came to exist? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, we had met, you know, Tommy, Matthew, uh, Krista Campbell, Lottie Grobman. They saw our first film, Delivery, which came out last year, and said, we want to work with you guys. Let's find, let's find something. So it was one of those situations that never happens in Hollywood where they said, we have funding, we just need to find a script. It's usually the other way around. So that for us, was, it was kind of music to our ears, but it just, it, the process was then to find a really, really good script that could be done at a, at a certain budget and that we all loved. And fortunately, it truly fell into our laps. Our manager represents the writers who did a phenomenal job. David White, TJ Semfield, the script was just about to come out from under option in August, because it had been optioned a number of times. Sorry, in April. From April, when it came out from under option, we were shooting in August, which is, by all accounts, incredibly fast, particularly in Hollywood. Money usually doesn't change hands very fast. But everybody was on point. These guys were ready to go, and, and as soon as we knew it was ours, we went for it. We were, just, we were right out the gates. And was it a long shoot or a difficult shoot? I'm wondering about the house itself. How much of that is, did you find a great house, or how much was set? A very, a very, very short shoot, 15 days which is incredibly fast. I'll let Martin talk about the difficulties of it. <laughs> the, but the house itself was something we found. We shot in Shreveport, Louisiana. The house was our scout, you know, our, our, our location scout. I don't know how we found this place. This was about a good 20, 30 minutes outside of Shreveport, which itself is not a big city, so it was a very r remote location. He just drove past it, knocked on the door. It turns out the woman that used to live there was in hospice. She had left went to hospice, passed away. So for almost a year, this place was completely boarded up. And a lot of what you see in terms of the wallpaper and the decor, a lot of it was already existing. You could not have written a better, I mean, obviously the two stairways coming up in and out, it was a, fan, it was a fantastic, you know, find, truly. And obviously the basement was uh, real. That was, the basement came with the house. So for us, again, that was also a complete find. Martin? <laughs> That basement wasn't there. <laughs> um, we, yeah, there was, we, had, we had some difficulties for sure. 
there was black mold in that place when we got there. Uh, we had to we had to cut that out and and continue production. But uh, yeah, the, there are some creepy pictures of like a little girl that are in the very last shot, and those were just there. I took a lot of weird photos of me in the reflection of that. Um, as a whole, it was just it, it was exactly what it looked like. It smelled exactly what you expect that house to smell like. It was definitely rough to shoot in. Um, but it was a really fun, fun experience for me. Do you want to talk about your experience? Oh, the house, yeah. Or are you telling how you wore sandals and shorts every day? Oh, yeah, so I got in a lot of trouble uh, because I was wearing sandals and uh, not allowed on, on set apparently, so. Uh, but no, the house was god awful, 95 degrees, hot, sweaty, disgusting. There were snakes, there were wasp nests, everything that you don't need. Andrew, I want to hear from a production side for insurance reasons. It was terrible, um, but no, it, uh, we ended up uh, wrapping a great shoot, and it, uh, oh, bless you. Um, no, everything went went smoothly as best as it could. Uh, but I will say that in 95 degree heat, sweltering hot, we had a generator the size of a, a Mack truck, <laughs> literally, and it was just you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, it was just really hot. <laughs> um, Martin, you want to talk about just this role in general because this is not something we're used to seeing you be like. I mean, maybe everything. Maybe you just did it because it's something different, but uh, what attracted you to the role, basically? Uh, the, the script. I really like the script, and then sitting down and meeting with uh, Brian and Adam made me feel like they could get the job done. Um, yeah, um, I mean, it was really fun for me to just fuck around. There was a bunch of stuff that didn't end up making it in there where I'm like playing with Vance's dead body. <laughs> not in a sexual way. I, was, I wasn't implying that, Brian. <laughs> um, but there, there was a lot of other like weird, just like twisted, psychological, comedic, and ridiculous, um, you know shit that we did, but um, I'm happy with the way that it all came together and it's, it plays really well. You guys all cheered when the, uh, when the stairs disappeared. I was really happy with that. <laughs> um, I felt like there were some comedy moments up before that. Maybe I, I made you guys a little timid to laugh because I told you it wasn't comedy. <laughs> That's okay. Next time, laugh when you want to laugh. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Uh, no. <laughs> he has no idea. Uh, we, what? Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about it? No, talk about it. Sorry, my lawyer just informed me we're not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> uh, next question. Next question. <laughs> Yeah, Beth was the first audition we actually saw. Uh, she came in, knocked it out of the park, and afterwards I think we all looked at each other like, well, if this is what any indication of what we're beginning, we're gonna have some amazing actresses coming up. And as we went through the process, because you, you do, it's, you, you extend it and you're seeing everybody. We always came back to Beth, and we were fortunate. I mean, she just, her audition, she changed her hair color, and she just came in and was, what you saw is what she did. And right out the gate, that was really set the bar high. So we were happy to have her. Um, before that, didn't know her, but love her. Great person, great actress. Yeah. Just one way in the back there, Steve. Way at the back on the. Way in the back. Uh, I was just curious, like, how. You, did you build the basement? Yeah, I built it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Matthew built it with his flip flops on. Sandals. Well, wearing sandals. Yeah. Yes. You no, know, it, it was a build. You know, the, what you saw for the main part of the portion of the house, that was obviously on location, but the basement was, uh, you know, obviously the stairs we built. Uh, it was kind of like the shark and jaws. We didn't know if it was going to work until the day <laughs> we, had to, we actually had to work it. 
But yeah, the stairs uh, were built, obviously the pink room and all, everything, that was all in different locations. So it was Millennium Studios uh, in Shreveport and then another, the, the white room and then the hangman's newsroom, that was a separate location. So it was, it was a task trying to make sure that everything felt like it was in one place. But mission accomplished, I think. Uh, where's the film going from here? Are there any more festival plays or are we going to be out on Blu-ray shortly? We are one more festival. My home, our hometown f festival, uh, Twin Cities Film Festival, Adam and I are from the Twin Cities. We've got that in two weeks and then we are out in January. January 15th. Yeah. VOD and, and a few theaters. Yeah, he, he wants to distribute our films theatrically, uh, New York, LA, so please come to the theaters and see it January 15th. We're not going to Blu ray, buddy. We're going to the big screen. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Does that include Canada? Yeah, well, yes. Yes, that's not, yeah, North America, Canada, US. Yeah. We'll be all over. Anyone else? We broke that wall the first time we tried to pull those stairs in. <laughs> it took five guys, six guys. They were all like individual, just like planks of wood that were as long as you, it's just planks of wood that were exactly what you see as the stairs come out, and just guys pulling the bottom one or pushing the bottom one, and they were all interconnected. And we broke the wall when they, they pulled it a little too far back the first time. Um, but luckily they still work. All right, we have to wrap it up. All right, going to start soon. Thanks so much Thank for you coming guys. out. Thanks for coming to see you guys. Uh, please look for it on your way out. <laughs>